Oh, yes. Right, who would like to go first? Put your hand James, in James, why are you such a... Oh, no, <laughs> Does Amazon feed you better than the BBC? <laughs> 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 That's so, isn't he funny? Yeah. Really, I love it, I love Literally, that. Literally, Steve um, Coogan's here, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, security, <coughs> row three, six, yeah. <laughs> Has anyone got an actual question? Yes. We feed ourselves now, actually. We do, actually. By and large, we do. Yeah. We have a, a, a kitchen in the Who office. is the better driver out of all Me. three of you? Me. I knew you'd say that. Exactly. We all have our different and specialist skill sets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mine is evasive. Yeah. Any shot, you need me. No, it's avoiding driving. Let me put it to you this way. This is a, I think this is a fair answer. Okay. If when we finish filming and we've a distance to go to wherever <laughs> we're staying the night, James always drives because he's steady and safe and he's actually quite, quite relaxing. We like and the other two are always horrifically pissed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember the days when we used them as a chauffeur quite a lot? I was quite happy so because it meant I wasn't being that. driven by you two. Yeah. There was a time when we were chauffeured by him often. I used to, in fact, yeah, no, James to bring always that back. drives. James always, always. If the three of us are in a car together, James always drives. <laughs> And gets no views. Listen, he's not. My God, who are oh, you? Oh God! <laughs> James's mic is packed oh. up, ladies and gentlemen. You've got the filter on. Oh, uh, we know that. Uh, cuts out. Anyway, right. So, any more questions? Yeah, uh, Hammond. We know you don't like ice cream, but how do you feel about sorbet? Uh, sorbet. Sorbet's all right. I think that's not too. Is that okay? That's okay. too. It's not that I don't. It's not that I don't like ice cream. It's just that I don't particularly eat it. Yes, right. Does anyone have a sensible question? Or about, I'm motoring uh, with here's a man, here's a man with he's a sensible a question. It's a Hi. terrible question. I just want to say thank you, first of all, because maybe half of the people in this room wouldn't be involved in cars this much if it wasn't for you guys. Sorry about and that. I just, <laughs> <laughs> really, sorry, that's about yeah, you should. Exactly. And I just want to ask you, because I'm, I'm a bit younger than you guys are. All right, if, all if, right. If, <laughs> if it wasn't for cars, what do you think you'd be doing right now if it if that wasn't your Crime. profession? Crime. No, uh, bookshop, shoot shop, uh, greengrocers, masturbating. Yeah. yeah. No, you were doing that already. I actually am. This is a false arm. Yeah. Oh, I was, I was, was thinking. Just, uh, I said that. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Um, no, what would we do? I, uh, I well, we don't have any other skills. It's just as well we are doing this. Really, we are. We, we have. We one of our favourite activities is when we watch a film together, which does happen occasionally backstage of the other one when we used to watch any sort of action movie and we like to, to, to work out how quickly we'll each reach the point at which we're defeated by whatever obstacles are facing them. Generally, if it's an action movie in which there's climbing out of a window involved, James, he doesn't like heights. That's not Quantum of Solace, when Bond the gets on the motorcycle. Forget that's it. It's not, yeah, it's not going to happen um, to him. No, no, but that, I think we were all born to do what we're doing. As a director of ours said the other day, when he was asked what his job was, he said, I organise holidays for three 12-year-old men. <laughs> so I think it's really where we are. We are three 12-year-old men who go around the world having holidays. Um, We're not covering been... ourselves in glory here, are we? No, but that's, it's, it's the truth of it. It's the truth. We have no real skills at all. Any more? Uh, so there's a question from Instagram, which is, uh, when do you start filming and when does it broadcast the next series of The Grand Tour? Uh. We start well. We're, we're planning it now. I mean, the heavy, heavy, heavy planning of the of the of the whole next series. Yep. Um, and it will it'll it'll go out this year. December the thirty first may be, but it'll go out this year for no, sure. It'll go out this year at the same time that the last one went out, whenever that was. So. Yeah. <laughs> So very soon is the answer we yeah. start filming. We're planning at the moment. We have meetings with biscuits and arguments. We're off to Africa at the end of the month. We are. Then America, then Georgia, <laughs> not rainy night in, yeah. the other one. Those are all secrets that he's just told you. You're all to be killed before you... Oh, is it not the rainy night in one? No, the other oh. one. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else? Yeah. Um, what do you guys think about the evolution of cars in general? Like, uh, you have to do less and less in a car. I, I don't think um, there's ever been a, 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 a less a more exciting time to be dealing with cars. They're undergoing massive change. Manufacturers are going to start making mistakes again, which is great, they already are. Yeah. That hasn't happened for a long time. So as, uh, as commentators on cars, this is the richest period we've had. I'd say even including the beginning of cars. Has anybody driven a Mitsubishi Fed? There you go. Right there. <laughs> I mean, that's a bad car. That's a, they've made a hybrid. They said, well, we need a petrol engine, we need an electric engine, we need to be able to charge it up. And they made an absolute 
total mess of it. And this is the, the when was the last time there was a total mess of an no, ordinary standard years. family car? Not for decades. Not for 10 or 15 yeah. years. No, more Mark IV oh, Escort. No, a probably. The Ryan. Yeah, the Jane Ryan. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that period. Sadly. That was the last really genuinely bad family car. But Mitsubishi's come along and made the. Fa it's appalling. <laughs> I mean, really, really appalling. Which and is course, great. So they're making mistakes. Yeah, but yeah, mistakes. Yeah, sorry, so about about ask, let me ask you a question because I wasn't quite that's clear. That's how it works, James. You said, I know it's not normally, but you said you have to do less and less in the car. Yeah, I'm afraid mean? in about 15, 20, or I don't know, 30, 40 years, there won't be even a steering wheel no, anymore that in the car. Will you, never there's happen. not a clutch no, that, anymore. Because in... we, we are the consumers. We get what we demand. Yeah, and I'm there afraid. There will come a time when autonomous cars will I'm happen. Let the man speak. No, I'm making my point in a false Fight! I was really enjoying that. I was really enjoying that. I know, I, once again, the still small voice of reason. Really? What was the question again? Oh, I'm, I'm seeing the clutch disappear, the manual gearbox, and um, last week I saw, in I'm from Holland, I saw a commercial yeah, sign. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You can share that here, that's all right. But anyway, Everybody I saw a commercial a sign now on every BMW, a standard automatic. So everything is like being with buttons and, and screens, like in well, Tesla. George, and George yes, I know what you mean, but hang on. Are you still worried about the ignition advance control? The George advance and retard ignition manual. About what? The ignition manual. advance what control and the mixture control disappearing from the steering wheel. Are you yeah. worried that they've gone? They went in about 1948, but Do are you, you worried about it? the throttle on the steering wheel, would you rather a center accelerator? I think the business of propelling ourselves from one place to another ourselves and operating the machine ourselves will always chime with us at a primal level that's never going away and if cars become increasingly autonomous and if motorways one day flow seamlessly because cars do it themselves fine but it won't stop the rest of us wanting to spend our time when we're not commuting to the fine work. I think we're a minority. We that's what I'm afraid of. Okay, well, no, no, if, I may, if I may just it's have a rare, let's just run it inside you. Never get, no, it's, <laughs> when the steam engine came along, obviously the horse should have been eaten, um, but it wasn't, and then those people who are horse enthusiasts continue to run around on them, um, and that's fine. And it'll probably happen with cars. Yep. With the, us, everyone in this room, even if everybody is sitting in a Google upside down cesspit, reading the newspaper as they go home, which may well happen, or you call an Uber drone to take you home, who knows what will happen, who knows? As Hammond says, it's a very exciting time to be involved with cars because the change is huge. But there will always be those of us who really love cars, who will still on a Sunday afternoon be able to go out with a 275 GTS or an XR3 or whatever takes our fancy, or, or even a car that only has two wheels. Exactly, there's a lot of very, <laughs> very that's, good I, I totally ready that's... meals available from supermarkets, but more and more people than ever are enjoying cooking. And I also think that the problem with our enthusiasm for the autonomous car is that we think, wow, this is amazing, it's going to do it, and your car will currently do it for 10 seconds. But actually, driving cars is one of the most sophisticated and clever things that people do. Processing information at the speed that you have not evolved to deal with, and you do it, and re replicating that with autonomous software and algorithms is far less easy than people are stating. I'm not saying it's so not going to happen. I didn't understand question. any of that. But well, that's know. okay, but he did, sure, and I was answering his question. Right, any more questions? Okay, next question. Uh, I'm uh, one of the crank handlers, so I will get in my character. Oh yes, now helmet, I recognise you. Because yes. most people recognise yes. me. It's one of the crankies, chaps. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so my question is, since I'm with vintage cars, what w what would be the vintage car uh, each of you would drive? I'd quite like to drive the uh, Ferrari 488 GTB, <laughs> which is almost a year and a half old now, uh, but very vintage. Uh, I would go for, I can remember, the, 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 James, what's the nomenclature of that, that Vox? No, no, there's a filter that cuts and games <laughs> out. We have this on the programme. It's fine. It's he gets through ten mics a show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's yeah. the nomenclature of that, that the, the Vauxhall with the really talky, it's about a four litre straight for about 1930. Can I just say, before while well, Hammond is remembering things, yeah. I hate vintage cars. He does. <laughs> I don't really and like you know, vintage cars. Like like <laughs> this is why Drive Tribe was so born to bring it on to why we're all here, is because you have people who love vintage cars, you have people who like cars, as I said earlier, with two wheels, you have people who like James who think they like Ferraris. <laughs> and, you know, so we're all different. But, you know, the idea that you have the controls on the outside of the car, the handbrake here and the gears, and what's that thing that does the... the, the, the that. 
on it like an aeroplane. You know, that really obviously floats your boat, whereas it doesn't mine, which is exactly, as I'm, I'm with James, my answer would be whatever I drove. Actually, I came here tonight in a Renault Scenic, and that is shit. <laughs> <laughs> but generally speaking, modern cars, apart from the Scenic and the Fev, tend to be better than ones where you have to lean outside to operate. It's a Vauxhall Prince Henry. <laughs> <laughs> and I also pretend it's a rim through your cock, but it's not. It's just, yeah, it's, it's, it is. Really talky. I love yeah, those things. Friends got one. Yeah, I want one. And we're off the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So we may have lost sight of your actual question. What was it? What is a vintage car? Car? <laughs> vintage car? I don't think I would... I don't, honestly, what, what is a vintage car? Well, how old does it have to be to be vintage? Um, well, I believe it's just uh, before the Second World War. Before the Second World War? Yeah, I think the so. Beetle. <laughs> the Beetle. <laughs> come oh, on, no, can't you come up with something cool oh, no. like a race car or whatever? Well, that would, isn't that a bit like saying, I want to listen to some music, I'll listen to it on a 78 record? Well, a lot of people are. No, not 78. No, We're getting off topic. Hey, yeah, I, I, right I apologise for our uselessness on vintage cars. But you do look great in that hat. <laughs> Yes, yes. We've read all about it. We've seen yes. it. Yeah. Next question. Jeremy, <laughs> what car would you get to your worst enemy? Uh, well, I, I, as I've discovered just yes, on the way nice here, Rene Scenic is very poor. <laughs> this edition no, no, no. Feb is very poor. But the car that I reserve a special level of hatred for is the Toyota Prius. Yeah. Because that is a cynical marketing exercise for the gullible and the stupid. Because anybody who thinks that mining nickel in Canada and then shipping it across to Norway so it could be turned into batteries and then shipped on a tanker across to Japan and put into a car and then shipped back to America or Canada and is bought by idiots who arrived this morning on the underside of a Eurostar train so they can drive into people all over London because they haven't a clue where they're going. That is a moron, and anyone who buys one, likes one, or praises one in any way is a complete and utter imbecile. I believe that was a rat. <laughs> Just goes to show I don't. Um, James likes them. I find them interesting, but I find cars interesting. Next question. Sorry, but I, I, I genuinely hate prices. I mean, if you, do, do you look, do anyone, does anyone here, do you, you all have a, does everyone have Uber where they're from? And does in every, do you all have Uber? This man up. wants to touch my ass. Hands up, just let's see. Oh, Nobody wants to see that, least of all me. So, but, do, is it Toyota prices in every European city, or is it just London? It's everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Where are you from? France. France. And they're yeah. prices as well. Yeah. No, I mean, I'd just quite like to. Okay, next question. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, uh, I'm sorry, I'm French, so... Oh, never mind. I, I have a voice to swim. Sorry, you said I'm sorry, I'm French. What are we supposed to do with that? Uh, yeah, 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 so I speak uh, terrible English. Because we speak I, perfect French. Well, France, Nobody else would understand. Si vous voulez en français. Non, I have a first question for my community, the two oui, guys follow me on Facebook. Yes, um, yes. When did you uh, put in your tent in France? This is really important for the Grand Tour. When did you put in your tent? And uh, we were, did we you love... Uh, sorry? When, when, when we were your tents is there, chum. Ah. Ah. Did oh, we all will? Charles, he's French, for God's sake. Give me a chance. I understand, <laughs> you, I understand your question. When will we be bringing the When will we? Exactly. exactly. Never. Thank <laughs> you. Okay. I have just a, a second question. Well, I tell you uh, why. Richard Hammond and I once went to France to do some filming, and we both lost our driving license. Yes, we did. <laughs> because okay. your police are Nazis. <laughs> right. Oh no. They're terrible. They are. They were ridiculous. They took our license. And what was interesting is the fine was whatever we happened to have yeah. in our wallets. Yeah. So we were both doing exactly got this. the same speed, which was huge. Too much. Really big speed. And he had more in his wallet than me, so he got fined yes. more than me. <laughs> it is round about what you have in your hand. <laughs> anyway, so no, but, um, I love France. So I love France, and we're going to be filming in France, of course. I cross my fingers, and I we just... Are filming, we are filming in France. <laughs> we, we decided yesterday we're coming to France yes. to film in the next series. So. And I have um, a question very important. Do you love cars? No, yeah, no we hate them. That's why we make a we don't. show about cars and set up this digital no, I don't car love the Renault cars. Scenic, but as a general rule, yes, cars are tremendous. It's liberating things. Anybody else? Yes, I do have a question. Um, I'm like, I like racing, Formula 4. What do you think about the German Formula 4 series? 
I love it. I watch it. Well, I read it. For me, I really liked it when the thing happened with the, you know, who did the thing. I like that. Um, uh, what's his name? Who's in yeah, yeah, there? Yeah. But Karl Heinz Scheisskopf. Is it him? I think he's brilliant. I love him. If you could ask these two to name more than half a dozen Formula One drivers and they yep. do it, yep. I'd be staggered. I'm not going to. You'd be bored. Moving on. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Did you say German Formula Four? Ford. 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 Four. There are four formulas in Germany. <laughs> it is impossible to have more than three formulas. <laughs> Do you race in it? No, but Mick Schumacher was last year. <laughs> <laughs> it's, gone it's, it's, it's gone nowhere. It's gone nowhere. I'm not sure we could go there with that. <laughs> yes, yes sir. Hiya, um, if you could choose one more road trip, where would you go and what car, or in your case, um, what bike or truck would you take with you? Well, we've got many, uh, many yeah. road trips planned for the next series of the Grand Tour, so... Um, it'll be whatever we're about to do. You can choose one more. It'll be whatever we're about to do. We'll be doing next. about 32 more. <laughs> you want 33. You see... If we, we had did 33... We can't answer that because we do it. So whatever it is, is the ultimate one we'll want to do. We'll do that. Well, that's what, it's an interesting philosophical question. Near, um, uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. Please tell me who's my philosophy and right earth. Philosophy and earth. <laughs> May I finish? Yes. There's a sign at the end of the road with a symbol of a roundabout, and then the road pointing up it says, All Roots Cemetery. It's that one. Oh, okay. there you go. It's not, it's not, it's not philosophical so much as bloody gloomy, is it? <laughs> well, you know, we, do, we do have a number of routes planned. I mean, I just, whatever it was, I'd like to be in an LFA wherever we went. But, um... Hello, yes, here. So, um, if we were to believe your newspaper columns, you play Airport Dare quite a lot. Where you dare the other to one of, one of you, there's the other two to buy very expensive stuff for yeah, fun. Well, not necessarily and very expensive, it can be just awful. Stupid. Well, apparently James dared you to buy a Lamborghini Gallardo. No, they both did. Years ago. They both, they so both. all went into the dealership. Very close. We yeah. went to very a Lamborghini close. dealership and I was, oh, this looks quite nice. And the both of them, would, and the, the rules of the game are very simple. They go, no, honestly, mate, seriously, we're not joking. You can carry you, that. You can carry that off. <laughs> you know, I promise you, look, That's you sit and go, no, it suits you. Yeah. And you start to think they're being serious. Yeah. <laughs> so you buy. I mean, I once did the best ever, ever airport shopping there in a coat shop on Piccadilly with James, and he bought literally the worst coat. It was a jacket, wasn't it? A snakeskin jacket. Yeah. And I stood there going, mate, Can you have honestly, an it? unfinished snakeskin yeah. jacket. Now, honestly, and not many people could wear that jacket. You can carry you that and he, yeah, and the thing is, I could. I mean, I looked really good. Cool. <laughs> I, yeah. I looked so good in it, I gave it away to another bloke. About two years later. Yeah. It's, no, it's a very good game. Airport shopping day. You have to have, it's the sincerity is what counts. You have to genuinely say, no, that watch is great. It's very so, skillful. But it takes longer now because we're wise to it. So yeah. you have to work on them for a good hour. <laughs> Nevertheless, you, you, you've answered the... to buy his beard at London Gatwick two years ago. <laughs> you, you've answered the first part of the question. The second part of the question is, have you recently bought a very stupid car because you were there too? Oh, no. dare. No, I mean, I'm always buying stupid cars that I regret. <laughs> we buy stupid cars because we like it. <laughs> yes. Um... Yeah, I, I, no, I don't think we'd be. That would be a tricky game of shopping dare because we wouldn't be able to persuade each other to buy things we don't want. We should maybe try it. We'll Anybody try else? It. Next question. Hi guys, I'm Anthony from Gas Kings. With the phenomenal success of the Grand Tour this series, thank congratulations you for that. Um, with the constant demise of Top Gear last series uh, and obviously the uh, departing of Chris Evans, how hard were you guys actually laughing? Uh, when you're looking at the figures and when that actually broke news? Um, hmm. It's a funny one, that, because we don't... We weren't, we weren't we laughing. Weren't, we're we're going to be serious weren't. about that. Yeah, we, we weren't are. laughing. No, we weren't. Top Gear was my baby. Well, and, and all so you, It was all our babies. Yeah, but, you it, know, was it was incredibly was, precious. So, it's, you know, uh, let's hope the new one is yeah. good. No, there, was no, there was no willing them to fail, none of that. A lot of that was attributed to us, sometimes unfairly, because actually, what, in what way does it advantage us? It doesn't. Well, Anything that keeps car shows hot and <clears throat> current and popular is in our favour. So and why would we want it to good. fail? It gives exactly. us a chance to watch a car show that hasn't got us on Which is, it. Yeah. <laughs> Which is great. Do you think that contributes to the success of the Grand Tour? No. no, not really. No. I mean, I'm sure you read more than one magazine and eat more than one type of food. You can watch more than one car show. That's great. Yes. 
Hello. Yes. Well, hello. Um, you said that you hate classic cars. No, 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 vintage. Oh, vintage. And if that's a pre Second World War, classic cars, I'd, I'd love a Lancia Fulvia, that's a classic car. All right, fair enough. Well, I was going to say, um, if you could pick a modern car to be your classic in the future, what would you pick? Oh, God. LFA. Uh. <laughs> no, but it is, though. Yeah, yeah. It just is. That thing's a remarkable. I suppose it depends what happens to, uh, how far in the future are we talking? <laughs> 10 years or 50 years? 40, let's say. Because it's really, because a lot of... 37 and a half. <laughs> <laughs> there's, so much, there's so much retro stuff about it, it can't be any of that. It needs to be something that's of its time. Oh, LFA. Yeah. That's what I mean. I mean, you have to, I mean I don't, I'm not as rabid a fan of the LFA as you, but I can see your point on that. It's Come on, you've heard it. That doesn't... Nobody will have a tyre of that noise. <clears throat> Might be small, like, yes, yes. A quick <laughs> answer. It be, it might be the test People want there. unscripted you know? yeah, talk. This be. is what it would be like. Mm. Mm. We'll continue to think on that one. Next. And we have some questions live from Facebook out in the outside world, which Xander here is going to ask. Facebook in the outside world. Uh, one from James Dickinson. That's Xander. He's asking the question. Xander is asking the question. Uh, it's one from James Dickinson. Will we be seeing more of Giovanni next season? <laughs> well, not see? all of him. No, nobody yeah. wants to see that. <laughs> no. I don't know, actually. Yeah. One of these days we'll reveal who he is. No, um, Giovanni I would like to bring back, actually. He was an excellent butler. Yes, he is actually quite <laughs> useful, genuinely, Giovanni. Is he here? By newspaper no, the other day. No, sadly not. Sadly, we'd like to bring Giovanni out for you, but we sold him it for turns me. out he's, uh, he's preparing our drinks for afterwards. <laughs> I think he's running Jeremy's bath. <laughs> Anybody else? Yes, somebody over Hello. there. Yes. Hello. Yes, sir. Firstly, thank you for... Uh, let me attend this evening. Um, okay. We haven't had a drive tried question yet, so I thought I'd be the first to uh, break the ice. Um, where would you see, or where do you see, Drive okay. Tribe going in the future in the sense of social media coverage, perspe you know, perspective in the sense of Instagram, Facebook, Twitter? Um, because it's about, mm. at the moment we are, and, and thank you everybody here for being part of that process as we, we refine and hone and, and build the thing into exactly what we all need it to be. And we all need to be there to do that together, to find out how we want it to work. And I hope you've seen the changes that have come along in terms of interactivity, the ability to reply to comments, and there will be further integration of those comments into our timelines, better and more effective ways of connecting that. I think it's really important that the thing becomes a device for not only disseminating content effectively and delivering exactly what you want to see, but it will become a machine for generating content already. Where's Anthony Yates, who's somewhere in here, who sent me that picture of my Lagonda. So I, I was just mooching about on it yesterday. I thought, bloody hell, that's my car. So we had an exchange. Has he now that, it? No, it's a picture, it's a picture. Yes. Oh, it was before it was your car. Yeah, before it was my oh, car. Okay. And it's yeah. a picture of it. So actually, our like exchange, our exchange oh, should at some point develop into another piece of content and that might go somewhere else and what happens then is that exchange of ideas and of thoughts and comments leads to the generation of stuff that wouldn't have happened otherwise. I mean, drive there might be ideas, there might be actual content. Drive Time was born on the, on, with, with the idea that if somebody enters a Hispano Suiza for a concourse competition in Pebble Beach, they would, they would say, yes, I'm interested in cars. And then a youth who lives in West London and lowers his Honda and puts an enormous exhaust on it, would also say, I'm interested in cars. And that's the whole point. It's a very, you don't get this so much with horses or cooking. People don't just go, I'm only interested in Italian cooking. That doesn't happen. Or I'm only interested in Arab horses. That doesn't happen. But with cars, you do get that. And so that's why Drive Tribe exists, is to bring everybody together. There have been, in the olden days of, of, of printed magazines, you would go and you'd have car and car conversions, this is in the UK, or performance car, or car, or whatever it might be, or what car, you're very boring. Um, yeah. And then, you, depending on what you, you wanted from a, a car, whereas Drive Tribe brings everybody together, and we can all share information, and share stories, and share photographs, and share videos, and I think it's just going to be, it'll be the, the only place on the internet that mm. works out properly, where you go if you're interested in cars. Why would you buy a car magazine? Why would you go anywhere else? There's just no point. It'll all be there. It is quite interesting that you asked us where we thought it was going. Actually, we are the three people who should be asking you yeah. lot, it'll go where all of you, where you think it's going, because it is actually up to you, not us. That was quite a serious answer. Well, well, yeah. <laughs> Has anybody got a fatuous question? <laughs> question over here, yes? 
Hello. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I drove a road called Jebel Jates in the UAE um, with the W Motors life on. And I was just wondering what your favourite roads were, each of you. Uh, I'm more interested in what that car was like, actually, because I haven't driven it. It was weird. <laughs> oh, that is a succinct weird. review. That is, that's a short That test. is nailed down, that. Weird in a good way or a bad way? In a good way. Okay, no, I'm yeah. looking no, forward to driving that. No, it was an unbelievable car. car. Beautiful. No, I, I'm, I am looking forward to driving that thing. It, it looks fantastic. <clears throat> Favourite roads is <clears throat> really difficult because it's so context-sensitive. Yeah. Well, the one we always said we love most of all is Davos to, to, to Cortina, you know, to Switzerland into Italy. Yeah. I love the Alps. I think the Alps just gives good scenery and great roads, and the roads tend to be rather well, particularly if they're Swiss, tend to be rather well maintained. <laughs> yes. The only problem, of course, we've got these days is every road in, in Europe, at least, has a cyclist on it. <laughs> and it makes such a noise when you knock them down. Um, uh, 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 another quick which one. Which you mustn't do, by the way. Let's no, be crystal North clear North on North. that, because the noise is awful. Uh, one more from and you can lose a tire as well. Yeah. Like James Brooke. Uh, we all know you have press cars. What is your favourite press car that you've had recently from a manufacturer? Any press car, they're fast as hell and handle <laughs> <laughs> What I love doing with press cars, I was in a new Volvo V90 last week. And you see people and they think he's in a brand new car, he's not going to risk it in this one-on-one -on -one challenge at Shepherd's Bush Roundabout. You're sitting there thinking, I am so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, I really enjoyed the Mercedes AMG C63 uh, S. Really? Which, you no, I, it's, because it's the first time I've liked an AMG, and not just because you like them, I hate them, but that is reason enough. <laughs> I've, I've never, I've, they've never, that one, I've really enjoyed it. I found myself thinking, yeah, that's a... It's just a not. I like the scale of it, the feel of it, the sound of it. It was the first time for me it's come together. It wasn't overpowered. It was just that was a. a I think thing. what was the last one I really liked? AMG or press car? No, 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 press cars. Well, I've got a, um, a McLaren 540C coming tomorrow, but I'll be surprised if it can corner as hard as a Suzuki Solaria that belongs to someone else. <laughs> I've got a Renault Twingo GT I've been driving around. That is. They're rubbish. Really, I was staggered. It did not deliver. I thought, oh, proper little hot hatch, and I felt like I was going to fall over. Oh, no, I know one. Audi DRS7. It's far too expensive. Bloody oh, my ugly. God, that's a good car. I've ugly. forgotten that. It's a very good car. And also the Titty RS. You can't have one. Anyone here an air hostess? So none of us can have one. But it's... Um, God, Audi are on it at the moment. BMW have had it all their own way, but I think they, yeah, they've got a bit diverted with uh, electricity. So... I only really seem to be honest at the moment, because of damn good cars. Okay, folks, uh, two more questions. We're coming to this penultimate question now. Hi. Um, it's fair to say that you're all quite competitive and, you know, you've got your quirkiness about you. So in terms of drive tribe, it's a quite interesting concept. And I wondered, uh, just, you've had your, you know, your sort of uh, tribe, so to speak. Is there a certain tribe that you're hoping will raise its head? You know, something secretly that you want to... Well, there will happen. The yeah, there aren't enough Alfa Romeo tribes. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's only about 380, but I think yeah. more <laughs> is needed. I think that's it, because if I could answer that, I'd just start it and be first to do it. So that's down to you guys. You can come up with it. I was going to start an Alfa Romeo tribe where every time he went on it, it just said, Error 404. <laughs> <laughs> start and let's be honest, that's what will happen yes. if you buy an Alfa. But... So, uh, appropriately enough, your, your Alfa Romeo tribe didn't start. No, it hasn't sta I haven't started it yet. I haven't bought my Alpha yet either. Might do that tomorrow. But that's kind of that's that's again one of the one of the joys of Drive Tribe. It will happen. That these things they come along every week. I found one about London taxis yesterday, and I didn't know we'd. I tell you what, we could one, stop. How's this for an idea? Our, our office d d d backs onto a Volvo dealership. Yeah. How's this mm. for a plan? Why don't we record how many times one of the service technicians, or whatever they're called these days, sets off a car alarm? It's every time they go near a bloody Volvo. We could have a Volvo car alarm tribe. No, it's, it's not going to be big, it can be modest. It's 20 shit, times a day. It is. <laughs> it's VTS, Volvo technician sniping yeah. from our balcony. That would be quite good with pictures right and short videos. But they keep happening every day. We're up to, what, 20 odd thousand tribes now, and, and, and every day you find another one. But, oh, there you go. I was looking at transit fans yesterday, and, and, and they keep cropping up. And we will work to, to improve that ability to find. That's, uh, again, somebody was talking earlier on about how it will go. I think that's great. We've been staggered at the depth and variety and range of those tribes. So let's make them findable and explorable, and that will come. Last question. 
Can we have an Alpha GTV6 drive? <laughs> yes, if you want. Well, you can. Just the sound no. of its engine. Yes. Anyway, sorry, I do like Alphas. I may have mentioned it. Yeah. Um, yeah. La last question. Um, I work for Sky Sports F1, and obviously there's big changes coming to F1 for the uh -oh. cars in 2017. This is good. James and Richard. Yeah, yep. I'm, I'm across. Huge yeah. yeah, changes for the cars, but obviously one of the big changes for 2017 is no more Bernie Eccleston. So, yeah. Yeah. do you think that's going to be good for the sport? Oh, I thought it was a hell of a driver, and I'll miss it. <laughs> do you think the yeah, of Bernie, going, yeah. Liberty coming in and, and all the changes, do you think it's going to be good for the sport going, going forward? I'm well, I really like those Bakewell tarts he made. I thought they were excellent. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's one of the great tragedies I have in life is I can't talk. Well, luckily, Andy Wilman is here, our, uh, the producer of Mr. Uh, Wilman the, is the here, previous show, uh, Mr. Wilman, Tatty Mr. and the yeah. producer of Grand Tour. And I can at least talk to Formula One, uh, talk about Formula One to him. Um, I think. Because Chase is American, there's no question that the Americans have a, a sense of theatre about them. And um, think whatever you do of NASCAR, they can fill 250,000 seater stadiums, which no other sport on earth can do. Um, and Formula One, the rich old men who've run it just need to be told that it's for the fans. And the only thing that will actually get the fans watching, and therefore the sponsorship money rolling in again, is excitement. And I think the Americans understand that, so I'm hoping and praying that they, they, they bring it back. Because, I mean, I, I, had, I had some time for Bernie in the end, actually, but um, it's probably a good thing he's gone and, and that it's now going to be run as a show and not as just some tool for making all, already very rich men a little bit richer. So there we are. Um, I'm here with James. And That's me. That is. Over there. Um, my tribe and I've got YouTube as well. I do about motorsport, all the sort of engineering behind the scenes, all the mechanical nitty gritty side of it. Is there any sort of particular motorsport that you that you enjoy? Um. I, I suppose, well, mainly the bike racing. I like I like the GP bike racing, and I would like to know. I'd like to understand more about tyres because I still don't. I sort of do understand them, but I don't know how a bike can corner at that speed at that angle with two tyres and the contact patch, which is basically it's, it's my hand. At it's, the moment, it's amazing, and yeah. I, I spent some time with. Uh, how does it work? British Superbikes, um, and hopefully I'm back with them again this year. So I'll have to ask the question. How on earth? Yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> it's a bit, it's, it's witchcraft. How does that it's a bit spooky. <laughs> Have yeah. you ever sort of wanted to do that yourself? Sort of? No. No. I don't believe it that much. That's the thing. <laughs> I mean, I ride road bikes, but when I go around corners, I think, no, that's not going to work. <laughs> I mean, it does work. Yeah. But you've got to be able to believe it, and I don't entirely believe it. Yeah, I mean, exactly. That's the well, one of the things that amazes me is I've done um, truck racing. I don't know if you've ever gone to watch any of those. But I've seen a little bit, yeah. I think, I think you three doing that. I think that would be proper yeah. thousand brake horsepower, five point five tons. Yeah. Yeah, we, uh, we might. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> sort of sounds like one of us would get hurt. Yeah. yeah but probably. obviously, they're very valuable these days. Yeah, no, they're, they're great fun and sort of uh, get you along. Put you in contact with one of the teams. Like, no. Put me in contact. And I'll pass it on to Hammer. <laughs> well, I'm going out hopefully next week in a noble. One yeah. next couple of weeks. Yeah. Wonder what you thought. I know you had a uh, bit of an interesting it. experience. Yeah, it wasn't close to go, but it was a. It was a, a it wasn't their manufactured part. I love yeah. them. I love the. There's no driver aid. It's raw. They're bloody good. They're very good at what they do. They like that simplicity of raw access to power and all the traction control is in your right foot. Would you, would you get one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, other, the other one, I'm lucky enough to be involved by um, Ultra. Oh yeah, that's so, also fun. Yeah, that, that should be. Have you had, a, had any experience in those? a long, long, long time. Many years ago, they've been around a while, haven't they? Yeah. Um, many years ago, not recently. It's, it's, gonna, it's gonna be interesting. Enjoy, enjoy no, I've got, Yeah, I love the Grand Tour. I mean, it's been... Oh, thanks for watching. I'd say production values have stepped up. So it just yeah. feels that much better money. Yeah, no, we, we, we took no, no events against, you know, it's obviously about the people that so. Yeah, yeah, but the production values are key. We took all the best people in the world. Yeah. And there are still the best camera operators, sound operators. Are you enjoying it? Yeah, of course we are. Yeah. It's better than working. So I'm here with uh, Black.
Black Panther, normally known for gaming. Um, so what's what's changed, really? So I kind of just put more personality into it. Like I used to make jokes in the gaming videos about cars, I like cars, um, and then basically expanded from that, doing like looking at Facebook groups specified to like modified courses, which is always quite interesting. <laughs> uh, and then pretty much expand from there to like non to normal blogging, that kind of thing. How have you found today? Been good? Kind of crazy. Just yeah. kind of crazy. Being in the same room, like we walked in and Colossal was stood there, and it's like, this is really weird. Like, <laughs> it's so awesome. Yeah, as well. So many other YouTubers you know here. So many. It's just absolutely just fantastic yeah, yeah. evening, really, and getting the chance to do it is. Uh, oh, it's incredible. And there's even, even some little. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.